Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dominic and for you guys today I'm bringing you back the Base Visit series and this one is episode number 4 and yes I'm finally back in the UK here so the Base Visit series can be brought back here it'd be awesome if you guys will put your names and your clan in the description and get me reviewing your bases here and to get reviewed all is it all you need to put in is in the description here so all the details are in the description not that not too hard and yeah so getting straight into the video i don't have to rush this anymore i can calm down because i've got good wi-fi connection finally so first off here we're going to go into the clan baited here and we're looking for mastery echo here so i did see him i, I double check earlier on there you go master mastery echo here and looking at his base, oh, that looks nice. First thing I notice is that Dark Elixir. And is it full? <laughs> yes, it's full here. So that's brilliant at the moment. He is a Town Hall 8. And what I'm looking at at the moment is a very, very good maxed out Town Hall 8. Except on the walls, of course. And I'm assuming you're doing your walls at the moment. Your King, level 10. That's nothing else to do with your Dark Elixir anymore. Clan Castle placement is good. I guess you can't when you're trying to use your Dark Elixir as a main centralized building you can't really or you can get your clan castle centralized but not in this kind of base layout and again you have a nice spread out mortars here all spread out covering each side of a base here very well done there i just say replace this no way a hey, raw dog if you're watching i swear this is something i swear you reviewed this guy's base okay what i'm about to say i say switch out this more with this gold storage no if this is the same i'm gonna check after i do this video raw dogs video but anyway so yeah so i just say switch that gold storage with the mortar here gosh this is scary and yeah so what else is there very good <laughs> everything's good about this base once of course you max out tunnel 8 if you are going to be a war let me just have a look at your war stars here 159 you're a level 6 clan so i'm assuming you do do wars here so i say stay at, at a town or 8 for a fair bit of time here get your war stars up it's the it's the easiest town hall to stay at once for wars i think town or eight so you have a big variety of strategies and they all work out well and as i can see you are maxing out your barracks here so of course get that one barrack to level four get the other barrack to level 10 and yeah that's it so just upgrade that one one more time after that one's finished upgrade this last barrack and get yourself fully maxed out for a town hall eight and of course focus on your walls here and your beast so having a look at your troops here spells first thing that caught my eye here i just say max out your spells I think you can get your lightning and healing to level 5, so I just say get those up. Again, just get your giants up. I know they're not that good for walls, but for farming troops, they are great. And I think, yes, you are using giants as your farming troops. So I'd say get those giants level 5. That'll help you a lot for your farming. Looking at your peckers as well, I'd say max out those peckers. I don't know. There is something going on in your laboratory, but I don't know if it's your peckers or not. So i say max out those peckers, and it could help you doing a go wipe hog attack strategies i've heard about them before so they're quite cool there again get your balloons to level five if you're ever thinking about going to town or nine do not go with a level four balloon because you want to upgrade those balloons quickly and having them level four when you go in town or nine isn't the best idea but anyways yeah you your base is looking good i just hope you're not going to go town or nine for a while otherwise your troops are going to be quite behind farming wise gold grab and elixir escapade is looking brilliant over 200 million of each grabbed here dark elixir grab almost at almost halfway for the heroic heist there about 50 million i think that is no that's 500,000 almost what am i saying oh god i'm going to school soon so i'm gonna freshen up there but anyways yeah you're looking beta at the moment i'd say of course just upgrade those dark spells as well so just don't focus on going to town online yet you have still a lot of th work to do based on your troops wise but anyways thanks for submitting your base here Second one, oh god, I'm doing the same mistake again. Second player here, we have Extreme 8. Recognize that name anywhere, and that is indeed Drop Dead Gaming from Drop Dead Gamers. And yeah, he is a YouTuber, Drop Dead Gaming. I said, said that about four times already, I think. And yeah, I think he's in silver last time I saw. There you go. Farming down in silver here. And looking at that base, that's looking beast here. He did get sniped a bit, so. Thankfully, his base isn't destroyed, otherwise that would have been quite annoying here to review. So, Town Hall 9, of course, got a bunch of level 6 barbarians in there. So, having a look at your base layout, it's looking like a brilliant base layout here. Clan Castle, nicely placed. Central, 
can be lured out, but Dark Elixir is your main thing. If, of course, if you're low on Dark Elixir, switch those two around and your clan castle is more centralized there. Expo's level 3, that's great. Um, one thing I'd say is just get all those level 7 walls to level 8 and then start focusing on your level 9 because you've got a fair bunch of level 9 walls there. And I just say focus on getting those level 7s to level 8 and then. Oh, that's a burp, sorry. And just, yeah, so focus on getting those level there, 7 ones to level 8, and yeah, so. What else is there to look at? Your air sweepers, if I press on that, it shouldn't be a level one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. All right, level two air sweeper there. So upgrade that air sweeper. There is another one, I think, somewhere lurking around. There you go, level two going to level. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so that's great. Looking at your queen, level 12 going to level 13. That's great. Extreme. Um, what else is there? Air sweeper, air, air defense going to level seven. I think that's your last yes that's your last one so that's great there and yeah so of course get that air sweeper get both of those air sweepers to at least level four when you have a spare loot get them to level five but my main priority i'd say to you is get those walls to level eight get them off level seven look at your king as well level 13 that's good just get him to level 15 queen going level 13 so i'm, do I'm assuming you're doing them one by one so one level king one level queen I do it differently. I just go five level one. I go five levels up on the king, then five levels up on the queen. What else is there to look at? I just say get that when you have a spare elixir. Just get that gold storage upgraded. I think that is about. F I think that is five hundred thousand elixir. So it's not too much there. And yeah, so your dark elixir drills. Just upgrade that one again when you have a spare elixir. That one is looking beast at the moment. And yeah, so haven't been on for a while. Your elixirs. I mean, your collectors have gotten a bit full. I think. 40k in the elixir collectors so yeah you're basically looking great nice layout i'm assuming it does do good for you in farming as you're just getting town all sniped and looking at your troops those spells are looking great the dark spells are looking great it's nice to that you've had them all upgraded i say upgrade to hay spell just to make your profile look a bit better but hay spell is pointless so i don't understand why you're not doing it but anyway so yep your king as well queen level 13 as well so that's great spell wise are looking good i just say get those healing spells to level six then that you're done for spells until town or 10. Um, what else is there? Giants, archers, barbs, very good level. Goblins, good level as well. Everything, every, oh, oh, you wow. Wow, you're, I'm, I'm looking at them one by one and then I just scan my eyes across and that's, yeah, that's looking great. I just say, yeah, so you, max lava hounds, max golems for your town hall, max drag, okay, one more level for dragons, but I guess fair enough, they're a new troop. Max minions here, get those Valkyries to level four when you, are done. I say get your witch first so you can start doing strategies like go we hog. I think I've got one video coming up. I th actually, I think it's a video, my recent video actually, coming up for d of my of the go we hog. That's a great strategy if you want to use. War stars 325. That's looking beast at the moment. You're in your new clan here. Two wars one. Fair play there. Still level one though. Anyway, looking at your gold grab and elixir. Three on over 300 million on each of them. That's brilliant there. Great farming there. Dark heroic, heroic, dark elixir heist here, six six hundred and five thousand dark elixir gain. That's great as well. Um, oh god, I can't check me it's too long if I was to try compare it to me, because this isn't my account. I'm doing it off. I'm doing it off my defenseless beast, which I've abandoned and haven't fed in ages there. But anyways, yep, you've reached champion. Done what I couldn't do, sadly. But yeah, so. You're basically looking B. So one more thing. I just, so just recapping over it. I just say upgrade those walls, get those air sweepers upgraded, and get that one dark elixir drill upgraded when you have a chance. Yeah. All right. So thanks for submit, drop dead gamers. And if your other guys are watching it, check him out. He's got just get him to 600 subscribers. He's almost there. So what next here? We have um, Merc Kush from the Scared Noobs. There you go. Nice clan, level 6, so he's definitely a warrior, unless he's sitting out for all the time. There you have it, Merc Kush, level 150, must assuming a Town Hall 9. Oh, what a beast here, looking at those level 10 walls, that is looking absolutely stunning there. Brilliant clan castle placement, along with Dark Elixir. I can see you can move a Dark Elixir there to, down a bit, and a... Uh, you can move a clan castle down a bit, and a Dark Elixir up a bit to make it more symmetrical, but I'm assuming this does work out for you, because... You're upgrading both your heroes at the same time. So Queen is going to level 14. King is going to level 13. I say looking at your base and looking at your heroes. Your heroes are quite behind on the how strong your base is. But that's not too much to worry about. You're in silver one. So I'm assuming you're doing 
to hardcore farming here. So just get those heroes up to at least level 20, then you can slow down a bit and start warring again. So I can tell you're sitting out of wars. If that's how your clan does it, if you don't have heroes, you don't war. So yeah, I'm assuming you're sitting out of war, so keep farming those heroes up because your base is definitely putting you towards the top ranks of a town or nines. But with your heroes not level 15 each, that might drag you down a bit having to attack lower. Air sweeper placement looks brilliant, it's covering up two air defenses. I'm assuming the other one is in the same, yes, same thing on the opposite side of a base. Get that one up to level 5 when you have a spare gold. But your walls is what catches my eye the most here, that's brilliant. Level 10 walls, all level 9 as well. I wish I had that at the moment, I'd, I'd just be such a beast if I had that. So yeah, that's it mate, that's like solid, every other defense is maxed here, very nice position of it. air defense is nicely spread out, all covering sections of that dark elixir there, so that's great, a nice, yeah, I don't know what else to say, it's looking beast, everything is looking beast out of your base. I guess you're online at the moment while I'm recording this because you've got your barracks boosted so you're doing more hardcore farming. So looking at your troops. Yeah, it's looking good at the moment. Thing I just saw my eye, just caught my eye. The level two golem. I say max out that golem when you can. I think that should take priority over your heroes, or when you're doing one hero instead of doing both at the same time, do one hero down and upgrade a golem. You're upgrading something. You're, oh, you're not upgrading anything in your laboratory. So I just say with a dark click, so far more dark clicks and get those golems upgraded to level four standard, which is the main standard for a very high town or nine like you. 169 war stars, a very high champion, two all time best rank. I wish I could do that, honestly. I don't know how you guys do it. But poison spell level 3, I think that's no, that's not max for town hall 9, but that's great. That's good. Level 3 poison, mine's still level 2. Um, dragon's level 4, mine are level 4 as well, so that's nice. Nice thing to do with your spare elixir. Your gold grabbing elixir escapade are brilliant over here. Over 600, almost 700 million of each actually round them up to the nearest hundred million and you almost get 700 million of each and yeah so look at your dark here dark elixir highs two million dark over two million dark elixir again that's great and yeah war stars i say i think you're sitting out of wars for a bit because of your heroes and that's the right option i think at the moment don't start don't do wars until you get those heroes up to at least level 20 each and get that golem as well to level four but other than that i think maybe you're doing a La, go Lalune, but if you do go Lalune, of course you do need the Mac level 4 golem to help defend your heroes and wizards so anyway thanks Merc Kush for the, the what's it called entry and yeah next one here from toxic midgets we have Jimmy Jimmy here I'm assuming this is the one I haven't checked if there's any more actually I don't want to do the same mistake yeah definitely so this is quite a nice low level clan here level 3 Okay, let's just click visit here, and yeah, oh, base is destroyed. That's that's not very nice. Town hall seven. I'm gonna try to do the best I can. Here. Town hall seven, and looking at the moment, at the moment as a town hall seven standard, I can see you've maxed out your archer towers, your cannons. You've maxed out all your archer towers and cannons. I think wizard towers you can get to level four, if I'm right. I think yeah, you can get. I think you can get them to level four. So get those wizard towers to level four. More towers for your farming base, of course. Get them to level five, so you can get prevented from barching here. Air defenses, I think you have one more level up on each of them. So when you have a spare gold, upgrade the air defenses. And yeah, so first I say upgrade both mortars to level five. And once they're at level five, you can take a break there because you can't upgrade them anymore. And yeah, air sweeper, I just say twist the air sweeper around in different in the opposite direction here. Because in that in that in that area it's not the best, I think. It's not really doing anything in that position. If you face it to your air sweepers, it will I mean your air defenses, it will help a lot more. So what else is there? Once you're done with your defenses, I'd say get onto your walls. Don't think about going town hall eight until all your walls are done and you get that barbarian king to level five. And let's have a look at your troops here. Quite low level troops here, but it's not bad still. It's all right. Get those spells up to level four each. Get a dragon up to level two. I think that's your main war troop as a town hall seven. Just mass dragons. Literally, they all free start any town hall seven you want. Also get those hogs upgraded yeah, and minions, you only have one level for each of them to do. And yeah, what else is it? It's level 60 war stars, I can see you're either a new war or you, yeah, you either just started warring or you're not the biggest war here. But anyway, looking at your gold grab, I just say farm a lot more here. When, before you go to Tunnel 8, I'd like to see at least a 
500 million gold grab and a 500 million elixir escapade dark elixir i can tell of course is new town hall 7 you, ha you weren't really focusing on dark elixir at town hall 6 so yep almost at 20k on the first achievement there so i know yes as i said just max out those what's it called max out those mortars and do focus on your air defenses and especially focus on those with your elixir focus on your troops but anyway thanks jimmy for the summit and last but not least, we have Sir Jonathan from Alpha Gods here. And let's have a look. Alpha Gods, Sir Jonathan. Where is he? Where is he? Sir Jonathan, Sir Jonathan, Sir Jonathan. Is he not there? Oh, oh uh, let me just double check. Sir Jonathan. Oh, there's no Sir Jonathan. All right, Sir Jonathan, if you... Oh, this is a bit poor by me. I should have noticed that. Sir Jonathan, if you, of course, want to get your base review, to update me on that. But anyway, guys, I guess I'll have to wrap it up because I only have that many names down on my sheet at the moment. So anyway, yeah, hope you enjoyed the, the base visit series. Like, coming back, just leave me a, a comment in the description. Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section. And that's it from me, guys. And bye-bye.